Hello, my beautiful flower friends. I know I have a lot of videos promised, but since the holiday season is quickly approaching, I wanted to make this holiday gift guide for you and for all the plant lovers in your life. Shopping for the plant lovers in your life doesn't have to be as simple and predictable as just buying the plant lover in your life a new plant. So I have lots of gifts in the sky to share with you and I broke it down into three parts. Part one is what to get for the experienced plant parent in your life. Number two is what to get for the new plant parent in your life. And number three is the plant admirers in your life. These are the people who love plants and flowers, but do not want anything to do with real plants and flowers. So let's get started. This part is for the experienced plant parents. The first gift that I have on this gift guide is a mounted plant kit by Riru Gardens. It has everything you need to create your own mounted plant. It comes with the plant, cork boss, sphagnum moss, sheet moss, fishing line, a little bit of twine if you do want to hang your mount instead of mounting the mount, and an instruction card. The cool thing about this kit as well is that you can choose what plant you want. So you can choose no plant, or from the current selection, because one of them is sold out, you could still choose from Hoyas, Rickrack Cactus, and Fern Species, which I think is really cool because each plant has its own specific needs, so you can see which plant works best in your environment and which you just like overall. I have visited this shop in person. They have a small little store in Denver and it is so magical. If you are ever in the Denver area, I highly recommend you check this out. And they also have workshops that happen monthly, which is really cool. And they also have, I think, an annual plant swap, which each year has gotten bigger and bigger. So if you are in the Denver area or somewhere in the Colorado area and would like to make the trip, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Number two on the gift guide is to buy them a plant. And not just any plant, a rare plant. You can buy this from Steve's Leaves. But the only thing is they only ship to the US. You can help that experienced plant parent in your life to expand their plant collection by purchasing them a new and rare plant. And for Steve's Leaves, they have ongoing weekly auctions for these rare plants, so it makes the buying process really fun and exciting, but also heartbreaking if you don't get the plant that you want. But that's okay, That's <laughs> that just adds to the excitement and experience of buying a rare plant. Steve's Leaves, grows all of their plants in their own greenhouse located in Dallas, which means they only ship to the US. And especially during the holiday season, many states experience cold weather. So Steve's Leaves also offer something called winter shipping assurance, which is an additional $6 on your shipping. But what they will do is they will personally check the temperature in your area and include a heat pack based on the following rules. So if you live in an area that is above 31 degrees, then they won't put a heat pack in with your plant because that could actually damage your plants. But if you live in an area where you're getting your plant shipped to, that is between 21 and 31 degrees, then they'll ship it with a heat pack. But if you're below 21 degrees, then they'll actually hold your plant for a maximum of two weeks before canceling and refunding your purchase, which I think is such an assurance to have, especially when ordering plants online and ordering plants online during the cold season. So definitely check out Steve's Leaves. Number three on the gift guide is a handmade ceramic planter adorned with 22 karat gold. And yes, it sounds fancy, and that's because it is fancy. These planters go for about $178, but they are handmade, 
beautiful and one of a kind. And as an experienced plant parent, that means that since you know what plants work and you're able to keep them alive longer, that means you can invest more in pots. <laughs> So this is a great way to add design and color into your plant collection, not just from the plants, but from the pots too. These are the plant pots designed by Jen. She is the artist and the one woman behind Ever Echo Ceramics. She works in a thousand square foot pottery studio tucked away in a small New England town. So if you purchase from her, you'll be supporting a artist and their small business. I think her pieces are gorgeous and that accent of 22 karat gold on her ceramics is just the icing on top and a major plus about her plant pots are that they come with drainage holes i know some of her designs don't come with that but she does include that as the description so definitely check it out i've also been keeping an eye out of her stock and she restocks about once a month and it sells out super quickly. So if you are looking to purchase a plant pot from her, I recommend you to sign up for her newsletter because then you'll be the first to know when a restock is happening. Number four on this list for the category of gifts to get for the experienced plant parent are grow lights. Grow lights help your plants grow all season long and I think it's a functional way to highlight your plant collection. Keep in mind though that different types of plants do require different lighting situations. So if you are really into getting the specific grow light for your plants, I recommend you to do your research. But I chose this one for the gift guide because it has great reviews on Amazon and it's budget friendly and because of its design, it can illuminate a wider range since it has four lights. And last but not least in this category is plant food, insecticide, or a fungicide. And this is from the company Arbor. You probably have seen them all over Instagram, but these are their line of plant wellness products. All of their products are certified organic and all of their products except for the plant food is vegan because it does contain hydrolyzed fish protein and their microbe-based ingredients are EPA certified. Again, different plants have different needs, so I suggest you do your research on what plant wellness product will work best for your plant. And I chose Arbor specifically for this gift guide because it, is, it has beautiful packaging and because all of its ingredients are organic and EPA certified. But there are different brands out there at different price ranges and maybe have even more efficient ingredient pairings. So definitely do your research and find out what works best for you and your plants. Okay, these are gifts for the new plant parents in your lives. Or maybe this is a gift guide you are watching to see what you can buy yourself for the holiday season. Number one are these plant propagation dish slash candle holder. So cool. These are about $14.70 and it's a weird number because they are a studio based in the UK. So their original pricing was in pounds, but this is a colorful and versatile product for the home and garden because when you are doing hydroponic propagation, you can use this dish as a propagation dish to prevent your plant babies from fully submerging into the water. If you've done it before, you know what I'm talking about. And it is so helpful to have this propagation dish to prop up plants so they don't drown. But when you don't have any propagations going, you can actually flip this dish over and use it as a candle holder. And there are few, if any, other products out there that are versatile enough to use as both. So I think that is really great. Number two are these magnet plant pins by Plant Good Vibes. They're about $19 for a pack of four. And this is the Sunny's pack. It adds personality and fun into your plant collection with these pins. And they also come in a variety of styles. So you can have sunnies or you can have googly eyes that emote different 
<laughs> emotions. And personally, I think having these magnetic plant pins, it makes it slightly less weird and awkward when you have to apologize to your plants for not knowing how to take care of them yet. What I like specifically about this plant magnet from Plant Good Vibes is that their magnet is double-sided. One side is stronger for you to be able to magnetize to plants with thicker leaves and then the other side is a little weaker so that they don't damage more delicate leaves. Number three is a soil meter. This one is about $13 and as a person going through that new plant parent stage, I know the biggest learning curve of becoming a plant parent is establishing good watering habits. Overwatering is one of the large reasons of why houseplants die. We tend to water them with love and kindness to their death. I chose this one specifically because it has 4.4 stars out of five from over 31,000 reviews and it doesn't require a battery to use and can be used for both indoor and outdoor plant situations. Number four. Speaking about watering habits, this is an Oya by the brand Pepin. It's a clever and simple tool to help your plants get the water when and where they need it. It's made out of clay and the way you use it is you bury it into the soil and you fill it up with water, put the cork cap back on, and relax. Yes, it is that simple. I found this device to be super useful during the hot summer months and if you may be living in a state that doesn't have those cold winter weather conditions, this also may be helpful for you because what I noticed when I didn't have an Oya in my plant, I would water my plant and then the water would just disappear as like a sacrifice to the sun. But with an Oya, because it's buried into the soil, you're not wasting any water due to the evaporation. So it's giving the plants, specifically the roots of your plants, the water it needs when it needs it, which helps you so much because you're saving money on not wasting water and you don't have to water your plants as frequently. So you are, eliminating the possibility of drying out your plants and overwatering your plants. Highly recommend. And I love the colors that these Oyas come in and the functionality of them. They are made by a brand in Europe, Pepin, and they use recyclable and renewable materials. I love how on some of these Oyas, you can actually see fingerprints on the clay, probably when they were lifting the Oya up from the pottery wheel and it was still wet. But I don't know if this is weird or not, but when I first received these Oyas, when I first saw the fingerprint, I just put my own thumb over it and thought, wow, this is someone in Europe's fingerprint who made this Oya and it just gave it such a personal connection to it. And I know it's not intentional, but it's little marks like these that really show that these are handmade. And out of all the gifts that I am suggesting, this is the one gift that you can purchase on my own shop. So I highly recommend for you to check it out. Number five on the gift guide is a repotting mat. This is specifically from Plant Haven. It's about $28 and if you live in a small apartment like I do, or you have a lot of indoor plants, you know how dreadful it is when you have to repot something or break off little plants to propagate them. And a repotting mat helps you keep all the mess contained, which helps the cleanup process, which helps the whole process of needing to repot your plants feel less of a chore and just less daunting overall. I chose this one specifically because I have a bright, bright, bright green one and I wish I had a neutral one like this. The color is beautiful and it won't stand out like a sore thumb. Now we get into the section for the plant admirers. Number one on this list is the Terrain Houseplant Book 
by the brand Terrain. It's about $35, and if you're hesitant to get started with the house plant, this book will inspire and help you feel more knowledgeable to start. Terrain's plant experts traveled the world to find and document exotic and interesting house plants. This book also showcases independent growers and plant lovers pioneering new hybrids and shares Terrain's unique way of styling plants. So if you are a plant admirer or you know a plant admirer who doesn't want to get started with any live plants because they don't know how to, I think this would be a really great book to help you build that knowledge and therefore make you feel more confident in adopting your first plant baby. But even if this doesn't inspire you to adopt a new plant baby, it's just a really beautiful and well-designed book that looks great on your coffee table as well. And it just helps you appreciate the wonder of plants and having it be on your coffee table, maybe when people come by your house, it will inspire them to maybe get their own plants or just help them see the wonder of plants as well. So it's the gift that keeps giving. <laughs> Number two is this Birds and Bloom Jiggy Puzzle. This puzzle in particular was designed by Jenna Blackburn and it celebrates Birds and Blooms in a simplistic and modern style. This just gives me Rifle Paper Co. vibes and I'm one of the many that loves the look of Rifle Paper Co. But what's special about this is that it's a puzzle. So the whole brand of Jiggy is to support artists and elevate the puzzle experience. So each puzzle comes with glue to keep the finished product as wall art. So it's puzzles made with the intention to be art. Don't settle for any simple art print when you can have a beautifully designed puzzle that you put together piece by piece and then glued and then framed yourself. Number three, are these brass ginkgo leaves sun catchers. This is by Scout Curated Wares. It's about $28. And it invites nature into your home in a subtle way with the brass ginkgo leaves. And it's crafted from brass, semi-precious gemstones and crystal. It captures sunlight to transform into beautiful little rainbows that spread joy in your house. And I've actually seen these in person and they are so beautiful. I wish I had bought one. The speckle rainbows that the little crystal casts, it just makes the place feel so magical. And this brand in particular has two botanical designs. They have these ginkgo leaf design, and they also have a monstera leaf design. I think it's a great way to bring nature via motifs in your house without being too in your face. Number four is a Sinotype kit, and it is by this brand, Botanopia. Sinotype is a unique photographic printing technique that works with the UV light from the sun. What it is, it comes in two parts. You mix it together, you brush it onto paper, and you find whatever you want. You put it on top and you put it into the sun. Wherever the sunlight hits, it turns blue. Wherever the sunlight doesn't hit, after you rinse the paper, it stays white. So it's really cool. And if you have kids, it's a fun activity to do together. And at the end of the process, you get these beautiful blue botanical sun prints that you can frame. And even if you don't have kids, personally, I would want to do this with my family on Christmas day. I think it makes a nice memory and you have a beautiful piece of artwork to frame that always reminds you of that memory as well. It's great. <laughs> Number five, last but not least, is a dried flower wreath kit from this brand that I cannot pronounce, so I will not attempt to, but it's about $38 and it comes with everything you need to create your own 3D work of art. I think this dried flower wreath adds texture and shape into the home. And I know this doesn't fit everyone's style of home, but with like all the gifts I shared here, there are many, many, many more options out there. And I hope this gift guide just helps you get started with finding the perfect gift for the plant lover in your life. Maybe for yourself too. And that is all for today. I hope you enjoyed this gift guide and found it helpful. I will see you in the next video, which 
I know I said before will be more of a vlog type and I will be working on that. I also have part two of the pressed flower FAQs that I need to do as well. I have a lot of videos in the works, so thank you for being patient. Thank you for clicking and joining me on these videos and I will see you in the next one. Until next time, take care, happy pressing, happy creating, and happy holiday season. <laughs> See you next time. Take care. Bye. Smagnum. Spagnum? Not just any old plant. Sorry, not old. Any old. <laughs> Number four on this list of category or biofungicide. It adds personality to your plant with these fun magnetic <laughs> for you to glue the whole puzzle piece together. <laughs>